What is up, Netflix fans? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking the brand new Netflix documentary, and that is Dick Johnson is dead. This is a sad, emotional, sometimes happy, sometimes hilarious documentary on Netflix. And today, I'm going to tell you guys why I believe this is worth a watch. I need you in the comments below if you like these Netflix reviews. Plenty more to come this weekend. Let's talk about it. So director Kirsten Johnson seeks a way to keep her 86-year-old father alive forever. Utilizing movie-making magic and her family's dark humor, she celebrates Dr. Dick Johnson's last years by staging fantasies of death and beyond. Together, dad and daughter confront the great inevitability awaiting us all. And our director here, she's really impressive behind the camera. I mean, obviously, that's her job, and that's what she's uh, been built up to do throughout her entire life, but she does some things here um, that impress me, not only from a documentary standpoint, but from a movie-making standpoint, because we're kind of mixing this documentary style, and I'd say that's what 80% of the movie is, with a few scenes here and there showcasing Dick Johnson, her father, dying in different ways, and then kind of celebrating his life in the great beyond, utilizing uh, some crazy visuals that come from uh, practical effects, I guess. But man, oh man, was this not something that uh, scared me at first because I saw, okay, they're going to show him dying in a bunch of different ways. It's a little dark and it may push some people away. And I completely understand if you watch this and you feel like it's too much. But here's the thing. Death is scary. We all know death is scary. This kind of thing doesn't necessarily offend me because, one, they all kind of signed off on it and they understand exactly what they were doing uh, as does Dick Johnson even though he is suffering from dementia and that's something that has slowly overtaken a lot of individuals in her family. Uh, he is absolutely on board with what they're doing, essentially making him a star and turning him into uh, this character that we can all really love. But for the most part, we're not getting a character. We're getting one of the sweetest and most human, most likable individuals. You can see from the opening shot of his face how sweet and genuine this man is, how much he loves his family. You can tell that all throughout the film. Um, so again, I'm of the mindset that this kind of story, showing him in a fantastical way, dying in all of these different ways, yes, you could say it's a bit morbid, um, but I saw it more of a celebration and accepting what eventually is to come in death. And none of us know how we are going to die. And some of us are terrified by that fact. But Dick Johnson is a man who kind of uh, embraces it, realizes the life that he has lived was incredible. And I think everyone around him understands that as well. And that's where the beauty of this film comes from. Just uh, accepting the inevitability of death, uh, playing with it, and getting some humor out of all of these different situations. And I feel found this in this strange, dark, poetic way to be beautiful because that's how this family operates. They have this sense of humor uh, and they have this sense of understanding that you can't stop what is coming. And we see Dick kind of reconciling with this all throughout the documentary. It's I know my memory is slowly fading away. I know, you know, two years ago it was a bit stronger than it is now. And two years from now, where will I be? Will I end up just like other individuals. I, I don't want to spoil um, the circumstances that they're kind of dealing with here, uh, but I will say that part in itself is extremely emotional. And then it made me sit back and, and think of my grandmother, and I showed a picture of her at the beginning of this video, and she passed away last year, dealing with dementia, and slowly seeing her fade over time was something that I slowly had to deal with, and I won't lie. Her funeral and, and saying goodbye to her was extremely difficult, but the days leading up to that, and even all of our family members gathering together and kind of celebrating the memories of her life, um, we found some humor, and we were able to kind of laugh and, and slowly allow it to sink in through these great memories, but also these humorous memories, and that's kind of what this movie is dealing with. Again, it's an inevitable thing, and they bring in religion, and they bring in uh, how many aspects that they've had to deal with over the years, and the fact that he is a man who has been treating individuals himself over the years. That, that was his career, um, who have been dealing with the fallout of certain things mentally, so um, a lot to cope with, but then you get into those scenes where it's showing these crazy ways of Dick John and dying and you have the stunt man that comes in and performs the stunt and we get to see that play out but then we um, 
kind of cut to this behind the scenes look at every single one. And eventually it does get too much for Dick Johnson because he's slowly getting older. And that kind of comes with being put in a situation that you've never been put in before. But man, he just embraced this and he loved it. He loved being a movie star. And uh, I really enjoyed getting to see his joy come from this. But then the emotion between uh, this daughter and her father and how that is conveyed all throughout the documentary. And she is doing this. She isn't doing this to exploit her father. She's not doing this for the wrong reasons. And again, it may rub you the wrong way, but there are absolutely no hostile intentions here. She loves her father so much. And she says it early in the documentary, I didn't really get a chance to film my mother as much as I wanted to before her uh, decline mentally. So I'm going to do the best I can with my father. And you see him slowly being stripped of these things that he has loved throughout his life. And this is a real story. It's documentary. It's not uh, a fictional film. And that's what kind of hit me the hardest here is applying this situation to what I saw with my grandmother, except seeing the joy on his face um, and just kind of accepting and embracing these kinds of things. So Dick Johnson is dead. I enjoy this movie far more uh, than I thought I would. Now, there are points where I think they may spend too much time on something. I do think one of the death scenes may have been a little overboard, and I would have liked to have known uh, even more about certain aspects of their personalities. But at the end of the day, I thoroughly enjoyed this documentary. It's on Netflix right now. As for my score, I'm going an 82% for Dick Johnson is Dead. This is a huge recommendation from me. Like I said, more Netflix videos to come. If you like this documentary, if you enjoyed this review, if you want to leave this video a thumbs up button, that would be awesome. It helps me out. It helps the channel out. Uh, but again, guys, more stuff to come this weekend. Reviews. It's October. Halloween. We're going to be recommending some Halloween movies. Stay tuned.